It's a shame we won't see him anymore today, but we got two killers. We've seen this in winner's bracket, and it is a run back, and it started on FD last time too. Yeah. And there was like a million matches on FD last time because of the Con Coliseum. And he, the, the landing fair, not punished. Kind of hard to punish if the Diddy spaces it perfectly. Okay, down tilt. Not too much damage. And I gotta imagine, you know, Yo, I don't know if he's a huge momentum kind of guy. He always really seems very calm. But, uh, you know, clean calm, for Yo. Calm. Is he calm? <laughs> Can it? But yeah, Sorry, he, uh, <laughs> he did come off a clean 3 off a player who's been taking names, right? Beat V, beat Chris. So he, he's got to be confident in his play. Maybe he could switch up what happened in um, winners. But even that match, that was game five. And if you recall, Yo down smashed JPEDs at the top ledge of Dreamline, and nothing kind of happened. Mm -hmm. So I could have went in either person's way. And it's honestly, I said Polk was looking the most crisp today. And I got to give it to Yo. I think oh, Yo. No, I think Yo has taken the mantle. Okay, okay. Besides Not even Black was the guy who was in winners? Grants? Um, and I don't know. Especially what we just saw Yo do to Infinity. Someone who was on fire, beating Chris Fish in V1-5. And he's been doing really well against Black ones himself. Yeah. Know? That was a dominating performance. It and was, yeah. You got to say the momentum's on Yo's side right now. As I said, that yeah. catches... A quick up smash, I'm They're sorry. Classic JPED ledge traps. He's so good at just like making you shook, for lack of a better word, when you're on the ledge. Oh. oh. He's done? He's That's done? It. Just like that? That's it. That's, That's it. all you need. Just a little slap. That's Get it. Get those barrels off your back, boy. Damn. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? JPED's been going with the landing fair, and he's been spacing it well enough that Yo hasn't really going for a raw punish. That time, he just empty jumped to kind of fake a punish. Okay. Using the bounce of fish to jump back oh Ooh. yeah predicts the roll but yo just gets him in place and this item play yeah, and recatches it with the up air too hot potato that was actually really good caught it and got the hitbox off yeah oh great pivot grab i love when you like slide with yeah. the pivot grab it looks so nice like fox and diddy have a really like funny animation when they pivot grab you like they slide so far Okay, picking up the banana. A dead even game. Last yeah. stock. Just like the first set that it happened in winners. It looked very Catches much landing, like this. But why doesn't that kill? You know why? <laughs> I don't know, man. You tell me. Kashyyyk sucks. <laughs> the worst character in the game. <laughs> Needle game. On point right On now. Fleek. I feel like someone's going <laughs> to hear me say that. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. For those that you know, I'm uh, well known for being a salty chic player. Yeah. Oh! The 50-50, still not going to kill him. Missing the banana. Yo is definitely going to take that. Grabs it. Lands with an air, too. Yeah, and uh, the the kill percents are pretty even, but we've seen uh, JPEDs, like, so clean on his conversions, you know, whether it's a ledge trap. Needs to jump, but jump air dodge. Good stuff. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, this, that happened in the first set where I feel JPEDs just realized that if he jumps towards the stage after a throw, he knows that Yo will meet him there, so he has to air dodge immediately. Yeah. Is that it? That's so not it. Yeah, so JPEZ knows if he's going to go for that jump option, it has to be a jump air dodge. Yeah, but maybe Yo has now realized. You yeah. know, it's like the game we talked about earlier where... It's like a more advanced rock, paper, scissors Yeah, game. you see it well with these two players, how they like adapt to the adaptation. Yeah. The first game, the first set in winners, um, Yo was catching the jump backs towards the stage with up airs, and now uh, JPEZ is there dodging. I'd say this is probably the most honest smash we've seen all day. What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean by that? That there hasn't been any crazy early kills. It's been a lot of just neutral yeah, back to back. Yeah. Good exchanges. Good exchanges. Good mind people games. reading each other, adapting to each other. Yeah, I would definitely agree. And I feel like these two characters, because of how good their neutral are, have to kind of do that, right? There's no nothing for free against each other. And yeah, JPEG's at 170, but that could honestly prove to be a bad thing for Yo if he doesn't end this soon. Yeah. Possibly gonna get those nares, the, the dash, dash attack. attack. And it wow, does that's it. gonna do it. When's the last time you saw that kill? It's been quite some time. Yeah. We're going to have to go back to maybe uh, Summit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why this is the first tournament that came to my head. so <laughs> random. <laughs> All right, so game one to Yo. Opposite of what we saw in uh, Winners, where it was on FD, but JPEG did manage to take it. Yeah. And uh, this is actually my favorite Omega. Shout out to my boy JPEG for picking this one. Your now favorite. Yo, it's my favorite Omega. So colorful. Great music. It's on my top five. It's on my top five. Yeah, I do like the music, the, the colors. I'm, I'm a fan of any Omega that has, like, bright, vibrant colors. It doesn't look, like, depressing. You know, like the normal FD where it's, like, all dark until your eyes Plus, bleed. I think this benefits Diddy Kong because he gets that wall cling, that wall jump to yeah, avoid, yeah, like, the... 
those chic He can be even more unpredictable yeah. with how he recovers. As we said earlier, JPEDS is pretty good at mixing up his recoveries to avoid the gimps. Mm -hmm. Goes for the double upper, looking like some Meta Knight. Oh. Gets him off stage. I have to. I think both of these guys strive on ledge coverage. Yeah, they're both really good. Yeah, if you ever played either one, when you're on hanging the ledge, it's you feel like you're like strangled. It's like, helpless. You know. Like there's no no option that you can do that's safe. Exactly. You're more guessing, and like they have the reaction time and the reads to pretty much cover everything. Yeah. Oh, goes for the ledge strum, messes it up. I think. I saw the fast fall, so he probably went for like that motion to ledge strum. Exactly. Forward throw off stage. Goes for the high bouncy fish read. Yeah. Thought JPEDS would jump maybe away from it. The there we see the adaptation again yeah. from JPEDS. Oh, these air dodges. Not punished by Yoke. Just waited for him to get on the ground. And got that grab. Okay. Rising air. air. I think he caught his jump. Yeah. Oh, just misses it. Times it. Ooh. He's oh, the re grabbing. No, he oh, goes, goes high. high. So smart. And he gets the auto cancel. Oh, window. actually had their. Oh, He's done. Wow. Oh, my God. Yo's only at 71%. That's unfortunate. And after like what looked like such a good string from him. But you know, as JPEDS is probably thinking. Ooh, what? We Forward take throw up smash. That's okay. actually. That's the first time I've ever yeah, seen that. Yeah, I've never seen that in my life. I don't even know if it's true. Maybe it's just some weird DI. Chic exclusive, possibly. Who knows? Not me. Oh, landing there. Landing there. Man, it just looks so nice when you. Land when it hits, yeah, it like pops him up in like a perfect spot. Yeah, and Yo needs this kill. He had such a oh. big lead, and he's alive. <laughs> oh, and he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Axie was dead. Doesn't yeah. matter. Break dance on him, fool. Yeah, very ambitious from uh, JPEZ to go for that. Wouldn't have even killed, I don't think. So uh, good punish from Yo. But yeah, JPEZ in full control now after that SD. Uh, even though obviously the SD is kind of a gift, he looked so clean after it, and in the neutral. Oh, that's is it. Is that it? That is it. No. That's it. Oh, I think he could have charged it. That was a bit. so clean. I think he could have charged it, but he's very flustered. Yo I thought that was clean. Yo was just shaking his head like that was nonsense. But yeah. I mean, he got the barrel share, but uh, it, was, it was kind of. Uh, that looked pretty calculated. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Maybe it's just the water that he gave me talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looked calculated. He's just such a big Yo fan. <laughs> Two O for Yo. Ooh. Very interesting. Yeah, not looking like oh, actually it is. To be honest, even though um, it is 2-0 for Yo, both games have been, as you said, very honest exchanges minus those SDs and the kill, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the actual neutral has they've been playing is very like well thought out. You could see the adaptations, the minor details that go into the neutral these two play. No, I noticed JPEZ never really goes for a spike. You see some people at the ledge if they get a down throw, they'll go for like an air dodge read into like a spike. Yeah, that's JPEZ, like a, the like, Poish classic. Yeah, JPEZ is not really about that kind of life, you know. Once that guaranteed damage, yeah, stage control. get back on the stage with yeah. his crazy setups. That's the thing. If you do miss that spike in the air dodge through it, I think, um, kind of giving up stage control. Yeah. And, and JPEDS is one who is all about his, like, you know, his movement, controlling. Yeah. He's not much of a swinger. Exactly, yeah. He's the opposite, I would say. Yeah. That he likes having his banana, not so he could throw it at you and just, like, swing. Mm -hmm. More that he can, when a, a Diddy's holding a banana, if you know what how far that toss is, he pretty much controls that entire space, right? Yeah. Like, you can't just walk in there anymore. It's kind of like Sheik Needles. When you know they're full, she controls like the entire horizontal space in front of her because the threat is always there now. Yeah, and I noticed that a lot about his play. He's a very out of field punish kind of ditty. Yeah, it's all about the controlling, controlling all variables. And a great lead from him right now. We haven't really seen this the whole set where he's dominating you like this. Oh, goes for the up throw banana into up throw. We've seen that work so many times for him. And that actually saved him there. Just, Yo wasn't able to get a follow up. Yeah. Oh, the minor movements. He's just trying to bait something out of Yo, I think. Yeah. And the Make it look like he's committing to something. Ooh. The air dodge through back air. It's one of my favorite legendary options. Trade on the fair. If you don't use it too much, it's a very good way to mix up how to get back in. That's it. That forward. He whipped yeah. her out of there. That was at <laughs> 9 o'clock DI. <laughs> Club's closed. Get out, yeah. girl. <laughs> Oh, okay. This Yo racking damage. up a lot of damage, yeah, but we've seen him struggle to get kills this set and in many others too. Yeah, his kill setups aren't. I think he's a his neutrals are like fantastic, yeah. but his kill setups not exactly. at the same level. Yeah, I honestly think he has one of like the best neutrals with Sheik like around, like just how he could slow it down and play his own game against like anyone. We've seen him play really good players Ooh. at Gommel, and he still gets to manage to do that kind of thing. 
It's just that he doesn't have like, you know, you see Void get all these like needle kills and Mr. Arg always getting the nair to bouncing fish. Uh, Yo kind of relies on F tilt 50 50, and when it stops working, it's just fair off stage, like edge guard kind of thing. And which is kind of like a shame, but I guess, uh, you know, if you don't practice those kills, they don't really just come to you, right? Yeah. This is definitely something to be labbed out. Yeah, I think if Yo does like put that into his repertoire, he will level up substantially because that's one of the biggest weaknesses that we've noticed is that he usually works harder for kills in that he has to get them to much higher percent. And yeah, that is a trait of Sheik, but uh, not to the extent where like every stock needs to be 160. Yeah. Oh, got the setup. Went for a pivot grab this time. Something a little different. I guess he didn't want to steal the up tilt for that setup to work a little later. Yeah. Yeah, JPEDs on the other hand, like going off on that topic, is that he's been very good at kill confirms, right? The uh, ledge traps, yeah. the down tilts, like he's got it all. Okay, there it is. Just like that. Game three goes Diddy to can't JPEDs. kill, baby. No kill confirms. <laughs> so I, I never actually watched the video. But when I heard that state, I was pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I was triggered. It's pretty funny. I was instantly triggered. I mean, like relative, I relative to like Cloud and uh, Ryu, he's not wrong. No, but, but Diddy's even Cloud, even Cloud doesn't have kill setups. I like guess yeah, kill moves. moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. But I don't know. Like Diddy has reliable kill confirms, I guess. But they're not like crazy. overly powered. Yeah, like shield beats both of them. Anyway, we're going to game four. Oh, they're looks still like talking. They picked the wrong stage by yeah. accident. Want maybe wanted Smashville. Is that foreshadowing, Mike? Is it? I don't know. I would not have lost that. Are we going to see a game five? Yeah. I would have made him SD. I would have made him SD. All right, JPED's taking his first game. And we saw Yo all day turn turn game sets around into a game five. Can yeah. JPEDs do the same? He was down, what, 2-0 against Poke, I believe. Yeah. That was the set. And now... JPEDs looking to do and a similar thing against... He also did that to JPEDs, but ended up losing the game five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, we still have um, the Yo counter picks, which I'm kind of... No, I, like I said, no one leaves Con Coliseum twice, my friend. Yeah, so I'm kind of uh, surprised that Yo didn't pick the Con Coliseum. He actually won the game one on FD. He won game two on... Uh, oh, that's why. He, his last yeah. game, he won on he FD. He won on yeah, FD, okay. okay. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, so JPEDs actually did counter pick FD on game two, where Yo won. So... If you're wondering, what? Yo didn't go with the Kong Coliseum on a counter pick? He's not allowed. He definitely would have, I feel. Yeah, me too. I, I, like, I've never seen him not when it's, like, open to him. Okay. Bouncing fish. And there's a little sway back. I like it. Forward throw him off stage. That, like, he looked like he almost died. I feel like Yo's not even DIing this. Oh, tried to go for the Zer spike setup. Both these guys kind of swinging right now. This is like the perfect percent for Sheik Needles because they can get you on a platform if you don't tech it. Yeah. Which can also lead to an up smash. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that all day, actually, the F tilt into try to bait air dodge bouncy fish. Yeah, that is something Yo has done in the in the past. That's worked really well. Instead of going for the raw up air, he'll double jump like early beside you and then bouncing fish. That was, I couldn't even see him, but he was already going for the jab grab. JPEG's going for the anti-air up smash. It does hit, but it trades. Wow. Ooh. Okay, putting great. a bad situation. Another great into DI a good moment one. from Yo. And he did, that's but it. That, no, no amount of DI is gonna hold that. I can have three hands on that controller. <laughs> help you. Oh, Ooh, the raw down smash. That's the second time this set that Yo just landed and up smashed yeah. it. Happened against Infinity as well. Oh, Infinity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never mind. It didn't happen this set. Yeah, you're right. Okay, dead even game again. The roll behind, unpunished. This is losers finals. Guaranteed money for one of these fellows. For both of them. But Top three gets paid out. Yeah. Is it going to be $100 or is it going to be $300? Yeah. Possibly $500. I believe the split was 500 300 200 Was it? Yeah. So this is a $100 money match. At least. At least. With the opportunity to get more. Yeah. Ooh, catches him. Yeah. That like could have been an early kill. Yeah. That was super high. And on Town and City too, but you know, she got back. And you're kind of running away with this. Very... uh. It's looking kind of like Friday's down set. Smash. Yo's made more use of that down smash uh -oh. than I've ever seen him in my Bad life. angle for JPEDs. Oh, I think he fakes the ledge trump and goes for the roll cover, but JPEDs jumps. I'm surprised he didn't just drop zone Nair. Maybe just didn't want to get, like, gimped by the barrels or something. Like, I've seen it happen. Yeah, I'm actually so surprised. Like, not, not really surprised, but kind of, like, underwhelmed that Yo doesn't go for these Nairs at the ledge. It's one of the Sheik's best 
moves, I would say. And yeah. at this percent, it gives him a free kill into Bouncing Fish. It kind of sucks that he's not utilizing oh, it. But why? You, when you can just it. read side Bs. Oh, never mind. But then, yeah, no, you Maybe need them. Needs you need them. <laughs> yeah, Maybe he still <laughs> needs it because he's alive. <laughs> okay, just running past him, trying to bait a grab, possibly. Oh, goes for the, I think, the jump read, but... Man, these needles are so annoying if you're a high percent. They yeah. knock you up just the amount, just the right amount that she could just charge one or two more, uh, close in the gap. And, and this is another stock that 160. Above, yeah. Like we said, man, if he had the Nair to Bouncing Fish or the Needles Bouncing Fish. Yeah. You, you don't really see those kill confirms from Yo. It's a very strong neutral, no confirms. Oh, no. Yeah. And then and things like did, that happen. He, did, he didn't look too happy about that. Yeah. So you work so hard, right? You gain up all that percent. You know, like, they're on the brink of death. Exactly, yeah. You get him to 160. You're like, okay, you know. Any time now I can kill him. Hopefully. Hopefully. But nah. All right. The props, you know, the classic game five props. Are we going to Con Coliseum? I think he's allowed to now. But he didn't. He didn't. I liked how that game on time was. Actually, no, anyway. maybe, maybe a JPEG's Bandit. I don't know. Regardless, that was a very good game for Yo. Yeah, it was, to be honest. It was just, you know, unfortunate air dodge. I'm sure if he sees a platform there again, he won't air dodge. Yeah, those are the kind of setups that only work once. Yeah, exactly. Well, again, the fourth throw to up smash. I think that time Yo just didn't tech it. But, yeah, Yo making the percent right back up. Not as much damage, but still in control. And like you said, one that was his biggest weakness, and it showed right there, and I said he's yeah. going to need to pull out something. In this game five, because j -Pet's kind of turning up the heat right now. Yeah, he is. And Yo was up 2-0, man. j -Pet's definitely feeling the, the heat of the comeback. Got that fire under his butt. This is exactly what happened on winners, but the opposite. Yo made it, a, forced the game five after a 2-0 deficit, and then but ended lost. up losing. Let's so see if it's a reverse. Or if j get could uh, you know, change very, up. That'd be very poetic. <laughs> yeah, right? Ooh, reads uh, the shield. It almost looked like it would kill soon. Tried to go for that up throw set up. Till, yeah, I don't even know if it would kill. That's a good move, but 117. Oh. Maybe it will kill. I'm sure JPEZ knows his character better than me, and he's yeah. still going for the up tilts. Yeah, especially on Town and City, it might, might just work. But Yo has brought this back. Yeah, uh, still at a deficit, but working its way back. Thing oh, with Sheik is I feel like she's more threatening when you're at 120 than when you're at like 150 because the after 50 50 still works. Yeah. And that's like something. That. Like and that. Those kind of setups work. And it doesn't kill with that much rage. Ay, what? Caramba. I love Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets it. Yeah. No air dodge from uh, j -Pez. I feel like he was air dodging most of the time. Yeah. So maybe they both thought, you know, not this time. Oh, my God. What would the game five be if it wasn't last stock? Zero percent each. Again, the forward throw to up smash. Is that actually a thing? That's or a, just Yo that's a lot of damage. in, man? Yeah. Oh, good read from Yo. Just power shields is a fair, but misses the second F tilt. But it doesn't matter. He's getting oh. so much off of this. Yeah. Keeping him off. Keeping him at bay with these back airs. Yeah. And Yo punishes everything, man. Like, he nared away from him. Yo, yeah. just instant dash attack. Yeah, dash attack's not a huge punish. It's like you said earlier. Any punish is better than no punish. Especially because pretty much any move in this game will give you some kind of stage control, yeah, even if it's not a huge amount. Especially when you're constantly getting hit. Like, Yo's getting these little hits, but, like, you get flustered, man. Like, he hasn't touched him in quite a long while. Yeah. Yo's racking up some good percent. The spot dodges, the shield, both players very playing very defensively. Yeah, panicking just a little Ooh. bit. Oh. What's happening? Oh, I think he had thought he had him off stage. Off stage, yeah, he wanted to send him down. Oh, he ran across the whole stage for that oh, grab. Kind of projected. And this is crazy. Dead even. Last stock. This is tournament life. Yeah. Like you said, $100 on the line. At minimum. <gasps> he oh. falls out. And, oh. and oh that's it. God, that's that was it. great coverage by JPEDS. Yeah, that was crazy. Good stuff from JPEDS. Coming all the way from Ottawa. Oh. 